As you're building your house's foundation, one of the most important materials needed is the BRC mesh. It's spread across the entire span of the foundation, right on top of the damp proof membrane. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the BRC mesh and discover what it does to a foundation. Hi, I'm Nick Muema from Property Noma, and with that, let's get started with the video. BRC is an acronym that means British Reinforcement Company. It's a British company that first created a wire mesh fabric to be used in construction. And that's where the BRC mesh gets its name. The BRC mesh is made out of stainless steel in a series of parallel longitudinal wires with accurate spacing. It's prefabricated at steel factories and is not joined at the site like the traditional cut and bend steel which is also known as rebar steel. Because of that, you're guaranteed of quality and consistency in the spacing of the mesh. When constructing your house, you'll most likely buy the BRC mesh that has a 200 mm square spacing. That means that each square inside the mesh measures 200 mm or 20 cm. It's important to note that there are other types of BRC meshes, but the one used for foundations is the BRC type A142. It's usually 2.1 meters wide and 48 meters in length, which is why it comes pre-rolled to make it easier to transport. The BRC mesh's job is to reinforce the concrete slab that will be casted at your foundation. So what do we mean by reinforcing? Let's use a simple analogy. Let's assume steel and concrete are business partners. Steel has his own set of skills and strengths that he brings to the business. Concrete, on the other hand, has his own different skill set. But for the business to succeed, they decide to form a partnership to bring the different skills together. Steel has a strength called tensile strength. This is a measurement of force required to pull something to the point where it breaks or fails. A good example is a thin steel wire. You can easily pull, bend or shape it. Concrete has a strength called compressive strength. This is the resistance of a material to breaking under compression. Concrete has a good compressive strength while steel has a good tensile strength. By bringing the two types of strengths together, you get reinforced concrete. Think of reinforced concrete as the successful partnership or business like in the analogy. The BRC mesh provides tensile strength, while the concrete that is poured on top of the foundation provides compressive strength. This ensures your foundation is structurally safe and strong. The BRC mesh is considerably faster to install than rebar steel. That means you save money on labor, specifically on steel fixing costs. You also save time. This means you can cast the foundation slab sooner because of the fast installation of the BRC mesh. Please note that the BRC mesh isn't used for upper floor slabs. It's only used for ground slabs, pavements, walkways, and so on. In Kenya, for the A142 type BRC mesh, the price starts from 27,000 shillings. However, this depends on your location and individual hardware store prices. You can also look up Kenyan online hardware stores and the shipping costs to various parts of the country. I hope you've learned something about the BRC mesh. Consider liking and sharing to help spread the video. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.